specific type plate they were uh, and uh, also the uh, you know when the fish gets bigger you want the blade gets longer yeah this is the longest one I have so I'm usually bigger than this the fish gets bigger than this that's the market job not the cook's job <laughs> but, uh, This side usually first we cut in the first uh, in the center, and you see uh, the skin side is more pinkish, and the top have a red color. The red color we call Japanese called akami. In English, just say red part. <laughs> and then uh, this <laughs> is the belly side. Uh, toro or <coughs> otoro and the fatty, and the fr lots of flavor. But the, when the lot of fat on the skin side, yes, fat, usually the red part also is flavorful. And then, uh, We, for the sashimi purpose, we just take the uh, You don't have to chew uh, long uh, lines that gives you the uh, uh, feeling of the, you know, softer of the meat. Instead of you go cut this way, that means each piece has a longer line. Mm -hmm. That means, you know, it gets chewy. Right? That's how we, uh, uh, how I learned and also how we uh, cut and then give to the customer. Just like that. Okay? So as a two toro, the medium toro, when you see the lines uh, going this way, that means you want to go against the line for 90 degrees. It gets that each line gets shorter, not longer, so that the, uh, you don't have uh, uh, less time to chew. That gives you the uh, better feeling. This is the auto, the very, very part. different pieces and then uh, I like to go with the, this is the head tail I usually go from the back why because the surface become a very smooth if you go from the top to the uh, bottom it gets a little bit bumpy because of the uh, tendon just off the uh, uh, you know hook but uh, uh, just like a beef, when the animal gets really big, uh, for me personally, if you age a little bit, it's just like a, like a meat, you know, it gets uh, amino acid, generates more flavor. So I prefer like a two, three days, at least, fish this big. But in order to do that, you have to keep the uh, color nice too. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, call this place with a paper towel and plastic wrap, you know, I, I 
this if this if I receive this fresh, I probably wait another one or two days to start eating because right now it's very good flavor, very hard texture for the fish. But when it gets a little bit of little bit of uh, age, one or two days, it gets a little bit softer, and it's I think it generates a little bit more flavor too. When the bluefin tuna in the wild sea become 500 pounds and something like that, and usually I like to wait four or five days. But we don't have to wait because when the fish come to the market, it's already took up three, four days. So, uh, but today's fish, I mean, look, so shiny without using water or anything, not using the spray or wax, that usually tells us how fresh the fishes are. Ahorita, eh, los que no entienden inglés y quieren hacer una pregunta, le podemos hacer la translation. Les comento que el chef va a cocinar esta noche junto con, con varios chefs en Misión 19, una, una cena que está muy, muy esperada. El chef está muy, muy contento. Pero